Here's yet another way to drive the piezo buzzer. Again, we have a piezo buzzer. This is a Teensy 3.2 microcontroller sitting on top of a PRT3 motherboard by Patton Robotics. And if you watched the previous video, notice that now we've moved it to the other side. This is the analog side. There is one digital pin here, pin 13. But these, dig these analog pins, A0 through A9, are analog. These are just digital uh, signals here, but we're just on that side of the board, the right side of the board. So the way we're going to drive it now is we're going to plug in the positive side here to pin 4, A4, I should say, analog pin 4. And the negative side is going to get plugged into pin A7. And so what we're going to do is we're going to set the pin mode for A7 to be low throughout this entire uh, piece of code, uh, throughout the entire sketch. And so that's what's happening right now is that when the when the code loaded, pin 7 became low. And then pin 4 alternates between high and low, high and low. So if the pin is driven high, then power goes through the piezo positive lead and then into the ground pin, pin 7. If you drive the pin low, then both pins, the, the positive lead and the negative lead, will be low and there will be no sound coming out of the, the piezo buzzer. So here we go. Positive goes into pin 4. So that's A0, A1, A2, A3, and A4. So let's see here. Yep. And there you have it. So without even using the motherboard's power or the motherboard's ground pins, we're able to use the Teensy pins, one to supply power and the other to supply ground. And so you can turn this pin up and down, high and low, and this pin always stays low and acts as the ground of the circuit.